morning guys it's about 7 15 on tuesday so i've gotten up taken my meds made my bed um done my devos and so on and such i've gotten dressed and it's like came with a tank top and some shorts for work i need to grab a hat because hats are always good especially when you're working with vps so a little rundown of the day is gonna be doing this get on upstairs getting dressed we're gonna pack my bag going to VBS probably I don't know what time I get out of here. Might so work first. But going to VBS for the morning, working there, then coming back, having lunch at work, and then we oh, got work from there. But yeah, gotta work on getting the back pack packed. Haha, <laughs> the back 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 back. But yeah, and then I'll get Lily outside, get her some breakfast and such. Really? I don't know if you guys have ever seen my birds in my vlog, but I do actually have some birds. It's been a while since I've been in this vlog, though. Hi, you two. Could we get camera time? I guess these are my birds. This is Ella, and this is Angel. Ella's no, she seems to be quite feisty, in my opinion. But yeah, we're gonna work on getting that day started, guys, and we'll see you in a bit. We've got our stuff. We'll pick that up. up. Granola bar, apparently, you know, because you know granola bars. I get those gluten and sugar in them, but I mean, if that's what I have right now, that's what I have. But today I also start, I'm gonna go with an eight week cleanse on sugar, and then also eight week of permanently on limiting my YouTube and Netflix and movies. So. It's a very big day, guys, because a lot of things I'm trying to change. Mm, do they have food and water? The birds did just come back. But they, do, they, do, they have food and water, so I'll make sure my mom can check on them later. Got my workbooks. Sunglasses are good, and I think we're about ready to go, guys. Oh, come on, Lily. But yeah. 720 now that I'm done everything. Look what goes to be up. Let the puppers up. Yes, Lily, we're gonna let you out. Lily, come. Lily, come on. Lily, come on. Yeah, it's right upstairs. Go pee! Hold on. Yeah. I'll put the backpacks here. You hey guys, what's up? 7 40. I have to be at the other church at my work for 8 30. So I'm going to be leaving in the next five minutes. I've packed my lunch. Today I started a no sugar challenge. So I have my protein shake here. It's in a Canada dry container. But it's actually made with um, cane sugar. So it is less sugar than I used to have in. I have a little bit of broccoli salad, which again, my mom said the dress in itself will have sugar in it. But that's less sugar. And then carbs themselves. So like crackers and stuff turn into sugar. So I put a little bit of nacho chips in. So it less less. And then I have water. And then I make cut up a carrot. Um, I got a cut up carrot. I'm going to brush my teeth and then I don't want to have a dinner. It's a wise thing to do so that I'm not late. We will cut this carrot up. I will brush my teeth. We will get in the car and we will meet you guys in the car. Five guys, minutes. It's time to eat five minutes later and it is time to get going to work. I have the car on. I have some manic drive VIP to listen to. Got my hat, my sunglasses, my phone key, my phone, my keys, my breakfast. Nice little bit of heat, kind of chilly in here. A uh, little bit of old car, but yeah. We are going to clean the windshield while we're off. And guys, we are going to get this day started on getting out, guys. So, I'll What's see you guys in a bit. It's about 8.15 and I have made it to work in 20 minutes. Good, and I was able to actually, there's like a super, super, super busy road, and there's an intersection back behind the church, and like it's insane to turn or even to get across when I go to and from here. So, like, yeah, 
but yeah, um, I made it. Um, I'm going to go my protein shake. Again, it's not my favorite chocolatey flavor, but again, it's full of vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff. And I am sick, and I am stressed, and I am overwhelmed, and I am praying. I'm going to pray, I should say. I am going to pray about it. Get stronger in God. But I need to drink that. It's just like, I need to pray. It's just like, you guys need to pray. But yeah, well, I have, I'm here 15 minutes early, so I'm going to spend some time reading my Bible. Every day I try to read a Psalms and a Proverbs in the morning. This morning that did not necessarily happen. Instead, I didn't spend as much time with God as I would like. But I got up and got dressed and ready. And like I said, I'm just stressed and I need to learn on just no matter what. Stop, Courtney, stop. Open the Bible and read it. Once I'm done that, I can do any, I can face the world. I can build a skyscraper. But until I open this book and until I read it and pray about it and think about it, my brain's not going to be focused on anything good, guys, and neither is yours. If we don't start our day off right by reading the Bible, we might as well not know Jesus. Like, we're, guys, we are called to follow Jesus. We can't follow someone if we don't know what they're saying to us. The only way to know what God's saying to us is through prayer and this book. Every day, guys, should start off reading the Bible. Not only just reading it, but before you read it, I've been trying to pray. Okay, God, bless this time. God, help me to... Have to nourish my body, my soul, and my mind, and my spirit. But God, also help me to understand while I'm reading this what you want me to learn from this. Yesterday or the day before, when I was reading it, I, I prayed that, and as I read it, things started not super sticking out like a bright light, but they started to. I started to notice some, and it started to make more sense as to why I was doing this. I was doing this to learn and to gain wisdom, guys. This is what we can do. We need to start our day off with wisdom and God's wisdom, not our own, guys. If we don't start, every day is going to start off with wisdom. And if we don't start our day off by reading the Bible, the wisdom and the day, things that we do today are not going to be coming from God, guys. They're going to be coming from ourself. And ourself, we are sinful creatures, guys. We were born sinful. And the only way to move past that and to learn, understand it, and how to not be sinful creatures, and to follow and abide by God's rules, and laws to make our life better, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, is to read and pray, and to be able to apply this information to our daily lives, guys. So I'm going to start by reading this, because when I come here, I enjoy working with kids, but because I didn't get it twice, I was told I had to come here. I have a negative feeling towards it, negative vibe, and I don't want that, guys, because I need to do everything for the glory of God. So I need to find something, even if it's just small, that I enjoy about this. Like, I enjoy the story. The, they do, We watched a little bit of a movie. That's always fun. Crafts is really cool. But like I said, I need to find those little things that I like and enjoy. And remember that, you know what? There are these little things, but I should enjoy the whole thing, because this is a VBS, Vacation Bible school. We're teaching kids to know God, and that in itself should make me want to get out of bed early and be here. But anyways, guys, that's it for my little bit of a Bible rant. I am going to actually spend time in my Bible now and pray before I go in. But I hope you guys don't forget to start off reading your Bible. And if you guys do something different or have any other better suggestions for getting more of God into our heart and into our mind and speaking it and watching our words, God, don't forget. Leave a comment below and explain it to me. But don't also forget that God loves you, I love you, and to keep smiling, guys. Because no matter what, God loves you. We'll see you guys later.